Hey, this is Vital Dio, and I just decided to uh, come and show you how to use the GEC for Fallout New Vegas on the computer. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I kind of got bored, so decided I would just show you all how to do this. So you have to open up your files, find your Fallout New Vegas. If you haven't already put GEC in where your Fallout New Vegas is, you're going to have to import it in there. You see, I have it right here. Just hit GEC. All this will open up. You hit files. You hit data. Alright, so you're gonna need this one on, and that's the only one you all gonna have. But I'm also gonna have a good start on, and um, because that's a good plugin I've made. And you just hit OK. Uh, I just do that because I get that warning and truly really annoying. Um, it's gonna take a while for this to load. So, uh, if you all want me to do a Fallout 3, I'll buy Fallout 3 and I'll do it. Just comment, and if I get enough, I'll do it. Um, if you all have any needs for Fallout, I'll tell you all how. Just comment on it. Um, anything you all need me to mod, if I don't know how to mod it, I'll find out, and I'll post a video for you. So, let's just wait for this to open up. Yeah, this takes forever. It should be almost done. Yep, there we go. All right, see, so here's some weapons I've already made. Um, I'll show you how to make a new one. Uh, I just made those. My last video froze, so I have to make a new one. But it's all good. Um, let's make a modded mini gun for the hell of it. Now you're going to double click on it, it's going to do this, weapon ID, the ID is not going to be on the game, um, uh, but this will, so I'll make this whatever you want, let's see, alright, now, um, clip rounds, 5,000 uh, regeneration rate, Five thousand. See, it's gonna set the max for it. Um, weight. Want that to weigh five pounds. All that. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. See, critical damage. Let's see, a hundred. Just for the hell of it. Um, ammo use one. Projectiles. Let's do some weird grab four. Damage. Let's make it do twenty. Um. Uh, let's see here. One hit. Dismember. So when you kill someone, it will dismember them. Uh, let's change the action points requirement to three. Um, critical effect. Let's get some alien disintegrator. Uh, this is cool. Alright, so if you want to repair this, you can choose anything to repair this with. So I usually choose. One second, you're gonna find it. The machete, just because you can find a lot of them out in the map. So make the strength requirement one. All right. So y'all might have this button in your screen. My screen's too small. It should. This says okay. You can hit that. I can't because I don't see it. Y'all can also change how the gun looks. Uh, what sounds it makes? I just can't do that because I don't. I can do it, but I don't want to. Takes too long. Um, and then here's Rumble. You can do a lot of stuff to it, but just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna show you all the basics. And uh, you hit this, and it's gonna say this. Say yes. So now uh, up at the top, I have this. So I'm gonna go out here. I'm going to put it in the wasteland. This is how you choose where you're going to put it. Alright, so choosing, you can choose anywhere. See, that's an interiors. All the interiors are in there. All this is the rest. I usually just, sometimes if you put it in shops, it'll say you're stealing it. So I just go and I do it like this. 
Um, there's a lot of wilderness, too complicated to go all the way through. So I just do it like this. Um, y'all can set the screen up any way y'all want. I just found this was the easiest way. And you'll find wherever you want it. You can set the filter for a certain thing there. Um, let's choose. Um, what do I want? I'll just use dumpster because that's what I've been using. And you are going to see some of my previous mods there because this is my good start mod. I'm just adding one to this, but uh, you are going to get to see some of this. I'm not going to, I'll show you it in the game, I'll try to, but it sometimes does not work. But see, you're not going to click on this, because if you do, it's going to stretch and it's going to grab way too much. So you just want to click on this little thing in the corner and drag it out and drop it. So here's my minigun. You can drag it like this, and then when you get it to about the place where you want it, you double click, and you're going to get this. This is for positioning, the other one's for rotation. Uh, I'm positioning it right now, shouldn't take too long. This is all in good springs. I've placed this stuff. Um, that at 14. Up the height by one. Let's move it back just a little. Right there, yeah. And see, this is what you can do. And then see if you really want to, you can grab a dumpster. Even I'm not gonna do the dumpster. I'm gonna do this rock. And see, you can just like move this rock around. The dumpsters where all my stuffs on, so I don't want to move it. You can even move the house if you really wish to. I don't. I wouldn't do it too complicated but all right so when you're done with that see oh that sucks I don't know why I did that but all right because uh, I didn't know okay um but now I'm just going to need to move it back into position shouldn't take too long straight back move it down let's get the Y tilt up in here I usually tilt to 14 on dumpsters because I have found that looks closest to the real thing. It might actually be 13. But, um, then you get it up where you want it. Slide this back a little. See, and this is how I want it right now. I'll set these. And then see that's what it looks like on the map now. And see you can move anything you want in the world if you really wish to. You can move rocks. You can move anything. Like you can move this tree. But you can just move anything in the world. And then after that, you're gonna want to hit file and want to hit save. So you see how that just saved that. Now you just hit X, it doesn't matter, it's just going to close everything out. It takes a good minute, and then um, I'm going to minimize that, find, where is it, oh yeah, that's broken, so you just have to type in Steam. And then Steam's going to open up, just a few seconds. Sorry about that. Just gonna take a minute. But when you first download the GEC, it's gonna be in a file like this. And you're gonna have to extract that and drag it into a file. Into this file. See how I dragged this over in here? You just drag them all. But, um,. And then you hit play, just like a normal. And then, so you go to data files, not go straight into the game. So you click on which ones you want to be working. And you hit OK. And you hit play game.
We've all seen the credits five million times, but you know they're gonna make us watch them again. Okay, there you go. Uh -oh. I'll just show you what everything is. Okay, it should take one minute. I've also modded my character. I'll show y'all how to do that in uh, another video if y'all want. Just tell me and I'll do it. Um, my character's level 100. Every skill maxed out. Every perk. Um, I have not found all locations. I just decided to do that myself. Let's see. You're going to walk outside. Find the dumpster. Alright. The elusive sea finder that I made falls through. And then everything is awkward after that. You just pick up everything. And just open up your pit boy. Go to items. So hardened. I made these armor. 50 and 45 defense to you. You can see I made the long shot, the gut shot, um, the loose and sea finder X. I like it's mini gun. See, this is the one I just made. You're just gonna tab. For some reason, it does. This. Like, you see how it says I have no ammo? Just give a second. I don't get why it does that. Sometimes it'll be a formation. But, um, I. Show you a different gun I made. This is what's being stupid. Um, I just did the gut shot. Oh wait, sorry, hit the wrong button. Actually, I showed you the long shot. You can see it's ten. That's just shooting three projectiles and anti rifle. It regenerates its own rounds. It's pretty good. Just a little bit slower, and uh, but that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. Uh, rate my video, subscribe. Um, just uh, if you have any questions, comments, just ask me, and I will try to get to them. Thank you.